We were here for the Kia Optimas a few weeks ago, but now we're, we were... <laughs> I'll start that again, everybody. I'll put my teeth back in. Excuse me. We were here for the Kia Optimas a few weeks ago, but now we return to Virginia International Raceway in the United States for the MSA British Sim Racers Formula Renault Championship. Andrew Woodhouse alongside Alex Simpson, who hopefully can speak a little better than I can, um, Alex. Well, it, this circuit it always provides fantastic racing. We saw it in the touring cars. It's a great layout. And... Um, I always look forward to watching the racing here, maybe even a bit more than I do driving it. Yeah, um, hello everybody, uh, good to be back as uh, as always. And uh, yeah, I'm not so sure about the talking. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll <laughs> get we get tongue tied at the best of time. So, yeah. but yeah, VIR, great circuit. Um, it's going to be some good racing tonight. Small grid, but still, I think um, you know the the race for the uh, showdown positions um, pretty much is going to um, encapsulate everybody that's. On this grid, I should think right now. So, um, those that have not there, not been here for a while now, are slowly dropping out of those sort of top 10, 12 positions. So, I think what you see now is going to end up being the showdown. So, it should give us some sort of idea of how this championship is going to pan out when we get sort of towards the business end in um, sort of August and September. There are a few missing. I must add that uh, Josh Thompson is on holiday. Um, uh, Stephen Baxter isn't here this week, neither is Jos Honig, um, a few others, and I think Ben Hackerson might be joining the league, I saw a league invitation there, Yeah, yeah. I don't know if, um, so again, if we get everybody, then we'll have a bit of a good grid. Um, Adam Bath is with us, and we join you in qualifying, which you are banned from. Not the first time, is it? Um, oh. after, yeah, I thought after being a naughty boy at the Sonoma, I will put myself at the back of the grid for uh, this opening race it didn't hurt me too much at Donington when I did it in the uh, the BSR World Series um, yeah just to back up your points about Stephen Baxter from what I've seen on the uh, the social media he should be back for the remainder of the races but we'll wait and see there but yep yeah, uh, it's, since... it's a funny time isn't it people on holiday people yeah. you know doing other things for a few weeks and taking advantage of the nice weather that we're having here and whatever just uh, breaking just... up yeah yep um but yeah, uh, no, I completely lost what I was, was going to say as Sorry. well. Um, yeah, I think it's probably a good thing that I'm starting at the back of the grid as well because even though I do know my way around this circuit, I have never driven a Formula Renault car around here. And yeah, I didn't do any practice earlier. So if any drivers are listening, um, apologies for any... Um, in advance. In, in advance, yes. Oh, well, I'm sure we, we, look, we do look forward to seeing how you get on them. It's been one of the features of this series in the last few well, you weeks. Did, you you did brilliantly last week, didn't you? Uh, well, I said... He was okay in the end. Yeah, the last race I, I was really proud of, but um, the rest of it was a bit dodgy. Um, qualifying's nearly over. Alex, it's pretty difficult to get a, uh, a clean, quick lap in around here. Yeah, it is. The curbs are um, basically the challenge around here, so the car doesn't react too well from them. Of course, we've got that sort of 15, 16 millimetres worth of clearance, and those curbs are pretty massive, so catch them just wrong the car sort of bounces in all the wrong kind of ways and um yeah you find yourself losing a couple of tenths here a couple of tenths there so yeah um nailing that lap is um is going to be tricky um one of the things as well is uh that samuel the bear is very very quick around here we see we can see that in qualifying he takes the provisional pole position to become the official pole position as I don't think I think only Yannick Ongener is out there and I don't think he's going to improve by that much we can have a look at it sideways there comes over the line then to finish the lap let's see if Yannick Ongener the Belgian driver can get anywhere near pole position what's he do we can't that's a 46.5 and because Adam's racing um I get to read out the grid, and it's safe to say I've got the easy job. There's uh, only 11 drivers on it, uh, compared to Thursday on uh, 50 on the Thursday night. Samuel Le Bear then takes pole position by 12 one thousandths of a second over Martin Van Luznod. Jack Keithley is just half a tenth behind him. It should be a good battle for the win here tonight. Yannick Ongena is in fourth position, kind of a drift from the front three, but about eight tenths of a second ahead of Tom Depka. And then it's Paul Denton in 6th, Christian Rose in 7th, Riff Cullen in 8th, ninth, Kip Stevens 10th, Roy Viverke and Adam Bath starting at the back. Probably outside the 107% rule, I think. Um, it, well, yeah. 
But, and um, if this was well, real life, I would have been thrown out as well because I didn't do a representative <laughs> time in practice. Yeah. Yeah, you've been thrown out about three different ways, but um, I'm sure. Uh, hey, Alex, four four races is plenty enough time, isn't it, to uh, get get ahead of steam up? I reckon. That's it. Yeah, exactly that. And um, yeah. again, it's it's, a, it's another car on the grid. Is it another one of those tracks, Alex, where it gets or oh, you learn it each time you do a lap? Uh, it certainly is. <laughs> That's just like you with the Nürburgring, isn't it, mate? Uh, yeah, I'm sure if I did a lap, I might learn it. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose it was a little bit like that with Le Mans before we did the uh, before we did the 24 hours, and that was um, that was but great. It so. depends if you want me to hire a car when we're out there and take us around there. You know, a full <laughs> full chat. I might have I, to learn it again. I did. I you know I put this suggestion to you. I was happy with we we went in the ring taxi last time, and that was. Uh, that was something else, I must admit. Maybe we can hire one of those little Srocos or something more out there and give it some. Beans. I mean, he might go. He, he, yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, he definitely would go around faster than you, but I suppose it's one way to get you to learn the track, isn't it? So, yeah. you know, we could. Yeah, if, I'm gonna, if I'm going to drive it, I'd have to learn it, that's for sure, so I know where I'm going. <laughs> I think that might be your mission. Should we serve as co drivers or, or what? <laughs> yep, six right into dip. Because that's for sure. <laughs> if it's not my car and I don't know the track. <laughs> it's only going to end one way. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, we'll that might be flying that back might, with headaches. That's for sure. That might be a mission between now and uh, September. Is learn it. Uh, but Samuel, it's cheaper if you, if you take a car round. But of course, you have to hire the car. So that's the main thing. Uh, VIR actually, in some, in some ways, is quite similar to the Nurburgring in that you've got grass runoff areas. Yeah. You've got precious little gravel. Um, track's quite narrow in places, Alex, especially at the back of the circuit. A lot of undulations, small curbs. It's it's a tough one. Yeah, isn't there some sort of, isn't the, the races named after green something on both events? I'm not 100 percent sure on that one. But with the green hell, is it? Yeah. Well, the green hell is is the, the north side. I'm not sure about this one, but um, well, there's the Targa Floria, isn't there? In uh, there's something um, in here, but sure there's something like that. Anyway. There we go, anyways, the drivers, the red lights are beginning to come on. Green, green, green. The green light is on here. Good start by Samuel Libert. Martin Van Luz not trying to go around the outside. For some reason I can see the white flag flying as well. Heath Lee trying desperately to hang on to that third position. Oh, Van Luz not twitches, and I wonder if Keith is going to get alongside, but he'll be on the outside for the... Uh, this complex section. Oh, and Van Lusenor, he sees the opportunity on the bear, but the bear decides to um, put across, make that stick. Adam Bass already got past Roy Viverke, so that's something in the top 10. Good start. All about starts here on Apex Racing TV as Samuel the bear leading through the SS section, Alex, but under pressure. Yeah, mine trying to find a way through any opportunity. He was very quick here, wasn't he, when we were here in April. So I'm expecting him to be uh, equally as quick. Obviously, drivers able to utilise their existing setup, so not as much development time needed. Um, able to get out there, get familiar with the track again, and just start absolutely hammering it out. A good pole position, wasn't it, for Libet? Adam Bath now getting past Kip Stevens. Bit line speed advantage, it looks like. It's that one done. It's close between Christian Rose and Rafe Cullinan. Cullinan attacking. Again on the outside line before this roller coaster section, as they as they oh, call it. Off, off goes Kip Stevens. Two cars Dep off in front of me. Depka Depka as well. Rose off and, and Depka off. So I wondered if that's just. Um, they, could, they can't have collided. Oh, they went off separately, separate incidents. Stepka locked up oh, and then touched the grass. And when he hit the curb, Alex, it just spun the car around. And Rose went off of his own accord, doing a very, very similar thing. In fact, exactly the same thing. And he went the other way. Yeah. And that's exactly what we were talking about. The, um, the fact that these cars are so low to the ground. And uh, we've missed the, um, missed the exchange oh position as well. As uh, Martin's taking the yeah. lead, 
Let's go back, we'll see it down into turn one, was it? No, Martin's already through, so... Um, Christian Rose says this track is absolutely awful. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Definitely a challenge. Literally, Alex, the moment those words came out of your mouth saying that the curves are superly high, I just hit one and had the spin of a lifetime, really. Oh dear. You haven't lost any places, have you? I'm last. Oh no. But I haven't hit so any. Well, it was up into seventh. Oh, Martin runs wide coming out of the, um, out of the oak tree corner, which doesn't exist anymore in real life, of course. Fell down. <laughs> the tree, not the corner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's the track just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to, like, in speed, Cold. where the road's not finished? Let's have a look, Adam. What did you do? The bear, oh, the back outside into... curb. You got a wheel on the out, uh, uh, beyond the curb, and that's that's what unsettled the car. So, yeah. A bit of a shame. But um, plenty of time still to go. Oh, and uh, LeBear's back into the lead. Yeah, that was really Martin's mistake, allowed him to get the run, slipstream straight past, and I think Martin's going to return the uh, the favour going into... Um... It's going to be close, though. LeBear's hanging on. And what? The, the, the front straight curves towards the right, so LeBear had the slightly shorter path. And he takes that well. Is he going to leave the door open? Oh, he doesn't want to. <laughs> Fan loose no. He has to give way um, eventually, but he sort of surprises him. Up the inside he goes. And that is good driving, Alex. He set him up beautifully there. Yeah, absolutely. Fantastic move. And uh, Keithley's still there or thereabouts, tucked up in the slipstream of both of these as well. And actually, a driver who's doing extremely well is Yannick Ongana, sat in fourth place. Yep. And, um, Not far behind yeah, at all, really. Yeah, lapping well. And I tell you, Yannick really is a driver who's coming on leaps and bounds. Um, certainly, um, I've seen him in recent weeks making huge improvements in um, in time. So, revisiting a circuit that he knows perhaps a bit better, really showing his, um, his ability out there. Beautiful um, driving. And um, I have to say, the track looks excellent, Alex, in this sort of early morning condition. Uh, 23 degrees air temperature and 28 on the circuit itself. So. Yeah, it does look nice. Um, I see one of the tracks that's still got the old original textures on, haven't they? They haven't done that work, so you can imagine what it could look like. So is this one of the older ones? Isn't yeah, it? yeah, this is definitely one of the older ones. So um, yeah, you don't want to get caught in that grass. <laughs> you run off there. That's this is the worst thing about this track when you do run off. There's miles and miles of runoff area, but of course, it takes you forever to get back to the track. We saw what we Just saw. ask Max Wright. Yes. I will say on that one. They bear with a massive overspeed here. Look at the slipstream. Oh! Martin just squeezing him outside close, a little bit. It? Runs a bit deep into the LeBaire trying the cut back. Gets the better run. But of course, Martin's got the inside where he pulled that move off just one lap ago. Continues to uh, maintain his lead. Driving from both of them, though. You can see the slipstream, Alex. The wind. Um, must be helping down that back straight. It's a north northerly wind, 18 kilometres an hour. Definitely must be helping. We keep these front four fairly close together. 2.4 seconds is between them. Not too much going else going on out there, really. Everybody's just separated apart. It's just the front two that's staying really nip tuck. I don't think there's anything between them lap time wise. Just um, the draft coming into play for both drivers. Yeah, and I think that's. I mean, that's the key, isn't it? As we can see it again side by side. Oh, did they bang wheels there? That was. Or was it just a lock up? I couldn't tell from my camera angle. Not really oh. sure. It looked like just a lock-up to be. Have a look. Oh, it was very close. Super close. It was good fun to be able to race with Martin Van Lusnod last week. Because um, that's the first time, first time we'd raced together, I think. Clean racing. And LeBear now tries the inside again. He's locking up. He's on the kerb. Oh! And the kerb very nearly 
deposited him into the side of Martin Van Luzenod's car, Alex. It's close. Yeah, this one's going to go all the way, isn't it? There's nothing between them. The more they fight, the better it is for uh, Keithley. He just hasn't quite got the pace. So he needs them to battle. Hopefully, um, he can take an opportunity just to um, get a move that's going to slingshot him past both. I'm going to drop be, him off, but still doing extremely well. He must be picking up a tiny bit of slipstream on that long straight now, you would think. With the wind the way it is. Tailwind down there. Plus the tailwind sort of negates well, it just a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, that's, that's the right. thing. It's the headwind that they want, and um, yeah, so really going to be the the greatest effect is going to be going down in towards uh, turn one. Half a second back for Lebert, so take a quick look at the speeds, and we can see that closing in it's just two, three kilometers an hour, four, five, gradually building up. It like like it down. It's such a long straight. It looked like a lot more on the main straight, though, didn't it? Yeah, I mean that's three tenths of a second that he closed up down that straight, so really, really useful. And it's gonna that's what's making it so difficult for Martin um to um try and break away here. And of course you close up down there and he's in three go. tenths of a second back, so again it's gonna go for a for an opportunity here. Now we'll see what the overspeed truly is. But it's a lot more than it was before, Alex. It's six, seven, eight kilometers an hour and here comes Liber again. Trying to Rip the lead away from Van Luzenord, but Dutchman covers the inside well. The French driver has to yield. Yeah, Can Martin, breaking, crossover. breaking um, as late as he possibly can on that inside and still hitting the apex absolutely lovely, and that's what's making it really difficult for uh, LeBaire. He can't just drive around the outside. In turn one, that's that's the place where, that's sort of the king place, isn't it? That's the, that's the place where nobody can really make a move on you regardless of what they do. Here we go again, look. And, but this is just a place where, even if you can get alongside, you don't really want to be side by side with anybody in this sector. There's no room there at all. It's like threading the needle through there, get it through there flat out. Oh, and to see the drivers avoid going for any moves. Problems for, um, Bart, that maybe? No, I was watching Kip Stevens uh, nearly lose it in front of me. The gap's down to one and a half seconds. So maybe a top 10 then? For Adam. And um, also another battle starting to form up Ooh. as well. So we've got go. a look at the leaders again. But Depka and Cullinan, they're very close together, but side by side once again. Verkane Rose as well with only three quarters of a second between them. Liber goes through. If he can hold it this time, Martin of course responded the last time instantaneously. For how long? <laughs> Nobody's held the lead for, for more than a lap I think so far. Was Van losing on again? Oh my! Very, very close. What are you going to try and do? He locks up. Oh, and almost off. Looks to me like he had to get out of it there just to avoid the car from um, sort of spinning a little bit. So, yeah, all this fighting. This is exactly what Keith Lee needs. Back to within 1.5 seconds. Needs them to uh, go side by side for a few more corners, and he's going to be right with them. Got what? Five minutes. Uh, th 3 minutes 54 seconds, so... 3 minutes 54, there we go. The nearly start, of course. And we didn't have the 2 minutes of gridding, we had a lot less than that. Yeah, Cullinan versus Depka, 6th and 7th. Rose versus Viverke in 8th and 9th are the battles. And it was Bath versus Stevens, but Bath is through and into P10. The bear pushing hard now, Alex, you can see I'm struggling with the Renault. Really wrestling it, trying to get somehow clear of um, this pursuer. Jack Heathley just needed really an extra tenth a lap and he'd be right there. But picking up that Depka did get by Cullinan as well, I don't know if we mentioned that. So they were very, very close and he's pulling away, so lapping consistently quicker than, um, than Rafe. Yep. Martin, four tenths of a second behind again as we go down the roller coaster section. A good lap for Liber. It's been a good lap for Liber, but I don't know whether he can. You uh, wonder whether it's good enough with the slipstream the way it is. Once again, he's going to be under attack. They go into the first corner. 
have to defend the inside here. He does. Van Loosen not thinking about doing something extreme. Uh, covers him off. It's, it's kind of the perfect uh, corner to get a run, really, isn't it? That final one, the, how fast it is, and pretty much flat out there on that last right-hander, isn't it? Uh, yeah, exactly. A pedal to the metal and go. Car just sort of sticks down there. It compresses the ground. So you have to be careful to make sure the car doesn't bottom out as they go through there. So that's to do with the uh, sort of setup. So they might be running a bit stiffer just to uh, stop that from happening. How's the but car, Adam, since the spin? Yeah, fine. Pretty good, actually. No Gets damage? Stats. Yes, no damage at all. Don't know what the lap times are like compared to everyone else. They're 40, my best lap times are 47. And they're doing 44s at the front. There we go. <laughs> hey, look. It's fine, though. Keep going. Are you, are you not going to hit me now? Or? But no, I can't. No. No, I told you to beat 54, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, Lupe <laughs> versus Val who's not again. Um... I wonder if there's going to be some fisticuffs here, Alex. I won't put it past them. Yeah, next lap is the key one, isn't it? So, but, um, I think, will Martin be patient? Try and get as close as he can so he can get this um, slipstream down that, that back straight? Problem is, though, that uh, if, if he's still behind him when he gets to this section, I don't think he can get past by the start-finish line. I could be wrong, but and he's about okay. to try and... He's about to prove me wrong, isn't he? It's going to be so, so close. Who's going to lead this lap? Oh, oh my God, God, it is word. ridiculously close. So, yeah, who knows them? It was Libert, but Van Luzenor's trying to render that useless. He's trying to go around the outside. He locks up again. No! Oh! Again, they're getting so close to each other. Oh, my! Alongside pretty, here. That's a pretty special move from Martin there around the outside. Took a lot of... Speed in there, good from LeBear as well. We didn't run him out wide or anything like that, left him some room. So, fair driving from um, both of them. Dinner. Anyone could still win this, though. We've seen Christian Rose. Christian Rose uh, has had a spin. Viverke has been off as well. I wonder if they've crashed. Oh, come on, come on. This is the last lap. I could see if we can get Christian Rose hit. Oh, so Rose, Rose spins at the final corner. Viverke, what happened to Viverke then? Evasive action, perhaps? I don't know. No. Oh, he just ended up going off on his own. And maybe he wasn't paying attention. I don't know. Last lap then. Oh! I'm losing all those kinds of out of shape at the tree. And here we go then. Easily for the win. <laughs> Could well be. How close is this? They are wheel to wheel. They are inches away from each other. This is brilliant racing. It has been all race long in the PSR Formula Renault. They're going side by side into the final sector in Libert. He muscles his way through, and I don't think there's a way for Van Luzen not to get back through, but there is that run to the line. We saw how close it was. Libert's got to drive the, the final corner. The best he's ever driven it. Comes out of it now. The drive towards the line. I think it's oh, it's going to be so close. Van Luzen, he's got the, the overspeed, but it's oh. Libert at the line. Samuel Brilliant Libert race. wins by... Four one hundredths of a second. Jack Keithley in third. Danica Ongara in fourth. Then it's Paul Denton. And then it's Depka who's fought his way back up to sixth position. Good run for Depka considering he had that spin on that one. Yep. Yeah, massively. And Cullinan in seven. Roy Viverke after a couple of excursions. Going to come home in P8. Providing he can negotiate the final corner. And he can And Christian Rose, who's um, done pretty well to come back and finish ninth after he he was last early on, Alex, as well. Uh, Adam, did you have another spin on the last lap there? Oh, I, had a, I had a crash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the oak tree bend, I was getting a bit over-exuberant trying to oh, get let's after go back and Christian look. Rose. Sorry, we've got to... If you've crashed at the oak tree bend, that's one of the, for those who don't know, that's one of the all-time classic iRacing videos, that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, exactly. There's a dime a dozen Can... of those, shall we? <laughs> you know, I, I know it's not anything that uh, guys want to be reminded. Oh, he's gone burrowing into the straight on. <laughs> pretty pretty unglamorous one, that. Knowing your limits, I think I just did that. Um... Alex, your technical uh, analysis on that? Uh, yeah, the, mate, the best have done that there. Trust me. <laughs>
I would like to. I would like to know if you can drive through that support race pit lane uh, during the race. Uh, you do get a slowdown for it. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know, but Max Wright um, decided Joker to try and. <laughs> yeah, that was his Joker lap. Uh, it was a bit of a joke, wasn't it? As um, he decided to. Uh... Yeah, take some liberties with the track limits, shall we say. Uh, I'll just put it politely. So Samuel LeBear wins the first round of the evening. Martin Van Luzenord in second. Jack Keithley third. Yannick Ongener in fourth. Paul Denton in fifth. Sixth. Tom Depka, the top six finished exactly how they started. Rafe Cullen in seventh. Roy Viverke eighth. Ninth, Christian Rose. Tenth, Kip Stevens. And eleventh, Adam Bath. Cars that started in the top ten that finished there, you'll be not very surprised to know that it was all of them. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very worried for the drivers in race two that are all going to be starting behind me. Um, <laughs> Bath is on pole position. Not because, position. not because I'm going to blitz them all, but because um, I'm going to, I'm going to be, I think, one of the um, the HRTs from 2012. I think. I don't know. You did okay there. I, I think that was. I think you're doing all right. But the lap times were okay as long as. Uh... Again, uh, it just the spins, really, wasn't it? You know what? I found that video for the comedy, comedy sakes. I think we're going to need to blow it up and bring it. Um... Bring it on screen and see if that will work. Oh, it does work. Here we Which, go, anyway. What is it? This is the comp compilation video of um, all the World Championship drivers smashing into Oak Tree. The same as Adam's <laughs> just done here. So, feel better, Adam, for yourself. Because, you know, trust me, there's a lot of, lot of drivers done that. So, what was the reason for that? Were you in that race? Uh, I, I was in that race. Um, what happened then? Well, why was it? What happened? Full tyres? Um, noobs. All noobs. Oh, noobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it oh, probably looked. rhymes with noobs. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit of a classic video there, so. Oh. Yeah, and that is just people. <laughs> it's the Williams. Um, <laughs> it's the Williams Toyota and all the limits. Uh, they definitely found the limits of that car at that time. So yeah. Is that done? Is that. It's a two minute 40 video, so <laughs> that's the crazy thing. There's that many people that can... pile into the, oh, I've got to get this we the wall. Leave, we could leave that going, we could leave that going. Um, yeah, so I guess in a single seat, the thing is in a single seat, you think that would actually be an easier corner to do than saying something like the pier. Oh, so, oh, someone losing it coming back in. That was poor Jesper, my teammate at the time. Oh, and wiped yes, out. Man. Yes, this is the World Championship, guys. This is what you're all aspiring to get into. Poof! This is what happens. Yeah. We're probably all fired now for posting Goodness that. Goodness me, yeah. But, but yeah, Adam's fired because he decides to help people with the pit lane entries. <laughs> we were on about pit lane practice, actually, last week, and um, we didn't mean literally, but it was one of those things. Uh, consistency, Adam, 11th in practice, 11th in qualifying, 11th in the race. There you go. To be fair, <laughs> in all seriousness, though, you made you made a, a cracking start. You were picking people off. Yeah, it was until, seventh at the end of the that first one. Spin, yeah. So, I think your times were decent. Um, you were doing forty. Well, I was doing forty sevens, I think, in the next car. I think Rose. Forty sevens. I don't know what Christian Rose was doing. I know he did a forty-five in qualifying. No, forty sixes. Okay, getting there, getting there. Forty high forty sixes for the most part. He went low forty sixes for a couple of laps. Um. Roy was doing mostly 47s. Pulling in 46 is 47s again. Depka 45. So really, you could you could have beaten probably everyone up to Depka, or possibly everyone up to Depka anyway. So there we go. You get that extra speed, I think, with the with the last three races. All right, everybody, we'll stop waffling. We'll get back to the racing and. Uh, That'll be in a few minutes' time when we return here on Apex Racing TV for round two of the R Racing MSA British Sim Racers Formula Renault Championship.
Simulated racing can be awesome, but can also be kind of a free-for-all. Interestingly, auto racing faced the same problem in its earlier days. Whether it was on the back roads, the beaches, or the city streets, the racing was fun. But there was always a certain level of chaos and danger, until some folks came along and put some order to all of this. Stuff like official racetracks, regulations about weight and equipment, and enforcement of standards. That's what gave us high-speed excitement, fast-paced action, and photo finishes. That's when racing became racing. The guys over at iRacing.com have made the same transformation in the world of sim racing. Sure, they've got the most accurate tracks and realistic cars out there, but that's just the start. See, iRacing analyzes the performance and results of each driver in every race. So you can be sure you're always placed in races where the competition will be tight. And that those reckless drivers who ruin it for us all are kept in the pits. Not to mention that with over 45,000 active members already in their vast community, you can find races day and night. So you can always get in on the action. You can even join a league of your favorite series. And since updates are always automatic, you don't have to worry about software and can focus on the track. Zip up your fire suit and check out iRacing.com. iRacing.com is a sim racing game that combines a true-to-life racing experience with an online community of virtual racers from all over the globe. iRacing offers a multitude of officially licensed cars and tracks, laser scanned with millimeter accuracy. Their car models and mechanical systems are based on real-world physics and engineered in cooperation with manufacturers and race teams iRacing's web-based interface allows members to compare stats and test drive any combination of car and track instantly. Their skill license system ranges from rookie to pro, ensuring members are always pitted against those with similar skill sets. Members are able to sign up for a weekly race series, compete in time trials, host a private race with friends, and participate in racing leagues created and run by the community. With over 60,000 members, iRacing works in partnership with renowned motorsport organizations like SRO Motorsports Group to deliver virtual races based on the real-life Blancpain GT Series. iRacing's Blancpain Endurance Series features team racing, giving members the ability to build a team and participate in races ranging from 3 hours to 24 hours. Additional partners include NASCAR, IMSA, V8 Supercars, IndyCar, allowing members to race in their very own 24 hours of Spa, Bathurst 1000, Daytona 500, and many more. iRacing.com, delivering the most authentic racing experience short of getting into a real race car.
Welcome back to VIR for the iRacing MSA British Sim Racers Formula Renault Championship. We are back and the safety car on the grid. No, it's just me. Oh no, it's Adam Bath. Adam Bath is on pole position for this one. And um, yes, Alex, that should be quite interesting. Yep, help us all, or help them all. <laughs> you help us as well, maybe. I don't know. After last week, the first race was quite well behaved, and then it degenerated a little bit, didn't it? So, um, so we'll see what uh, what the drivers have to offer. Adam Bath on pole, Christian Rose second, Rob Verkey third, Rob Riff Gunnan fourth, uh, Tom Depka fifth, Paul Denter sixth, Yannick Ongan seventh, Jack Heathley eighth, Martin Van Lusenau ninth, ten Samuel Lebert, and Kip Stevens in eleventh. But I do have a bit of history with some of these guys, so I'll try to be careful. Here we go. Here come the lights. Lights are on. Ready for the start here at VIR, round two of the evening. Green, green, green. On the way then. Decent start from the front row. Very good start from Roy Viverke. He's already challenging Christian Rose. Into the first corner, Cullinan. Oh, the three wide, Van Lusenod up the middle. What a fantastic move that was by Martin Van Lusenod. Already into six. Oh, who's that running wide? On Gunnar. Off. Off goes On Gunnar. Not going to be too to... bad. He's lost a bit of time, but it's not nothing major. I'm losing all up to fifth. Little twitch for um, Bath there as oh, they come yeah. out of that <laughs> complex. Step Cold tyres. Step curing Keithley and Libert. Very, very close. Stepka just opens the door for Keithley. Through, through he goes, and LeBear as well. They're on their way. Martin and Lusenord up to fifth. Can he do anything about Cullinan in the old tree bend? He doesn't need to because Cullinan goes wide. Van Lusenord up the inside. And it's P4 for the Dutchman. Can I lead a lap? I don't know. You have to, an you have to answer that question yourself in this next sector of the course. Roller coaster section. The math leads. Pulling and coming back up on losing on Alex. It's momentarily. Oh, they're bearing Keithley very close together. The bear wants to get past Jack as soon as possible. Have to get off after Martin. Otherwise, if they let him get too far in front, I think uh, I think it could be done and dusted. Adam Bath is going to lead a lap then. Of round two oh, here at Virginia. Rafe off in the final corner. Easy to do. Oh, and that's wow. that horrible time where you just carry on slipping wide and there's nothing you can do. Off camber is that runoff area. You end up sliding down the hill. Comes back on in what appears to be last position. Fine into third. So there's quick. just no stopping him, is there? That's up to you. Might, might be so. <laughs> Let's see then. Athlete in row second, and there's not third. Fourth is Viverke, then it's Keithley, and then it's Lebert. How long can Christian Rose fight for? I don't think the answer's going to be too long because he just made a mistake coming out of that, that S section. Christian. Christian Rose yields, and Martin Van Lusenort up into second. <laughs> and Keithley and Lebert still cannot get past Viverke. Yeah, Roy doing a good job out there, just sort of not making any mistakes, so it's just uh, making it challenging for um, for him. Martin onto the tail of um, Adam now. Adam Bath's time at the front. In that slipstream. I don't think he'll get him here, but he will close right up. He'll get him into turn one. Well, at least I'll lead two laps then. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, well, you should be so lucky, I think. Keep going, though. Anything can happen. We saw that last week. I thought I was going to get eaten by him, and then he uh, got disqualified. So, goodness so, me, there's no danger of that today. No, Martin, let me lead this lap. Come on. Bit of the inside. Bit of the inside. You should lead the lap. He Just about. <laughs> Two laps led. Adam Bass led 100% of the lap so far. Now, can he duel with him on the brakes? The answer is. Nearly. Sort of. <laughs> On the brakes, <I'd> yes. <laughs> Through the corner, not so much. Yeah. 
Yeah, power and uh, determination by Van Lusenod gets him through the grid quickly. And he's away, and I think that's job done. Can make Ooh. it to the end. Yeah, I can't, can't see the guys getting to him. Keithley still ahead of LeBaire. LeBaire would have needed to have got Keithley by far now. Behind. Too far behind already. Two cars to uh, try and negotiate. Christian Rose, well, it was quite easy to pass for Van Lusenod, but I think it's because he made a mistake more than anything else. This is going to be very close, Alex. We might have some interesting moves into the oak tree here. Uh, just a little bit wide, a couple of wheels just on the uh, edge then, hip to grasp, no issues. Tentative going through the uh, oak tree, didn't want to run into the back of anyone. You could tell when we were on board there, using the engine brake in massively to get the car stopped. I'm losing all three seconds in front already. Unbelievable, isn't it? They've been ahead for half a lap. And the doing a very good job in second. The last I'll say of it, in case I curse him. He did! Oh, <laughs> oh God! <laughs> oh, I quit. I find myself, shall I? I think I'll do that. What that's done now is left um, Rose very exposed. Of course, he's got no slipstream at the front of this pack, and you've got Keithy and. LeBear coming at him down into turn one. Keithy up the inside. LeBear just jinks out as well. Says, I'm going through at the same time. Thank you very much. Christian in the CQR car has to concede, but retains. Why is he sitting in fourth place? So, still good position, and he's a good 1.8 seconds ahead of uh, Depka as well. And actually, having a little oh. fight back here on um, on LeBear, but uh, yeah, LeBear just covers that off. You can stay there. I think it'd be a very good result for the CQR team what's left of it anyway it's just him now isn't it <laughs> unfortunately Christian Rhodes now that David Baker is um, on the hiatus potentially indefinitely from this series I don't know but um, if Van Lusenod had the lead of 2.8 seconds at the end of the lap and there's a little bit of battling so I think it's going to be a bit more than that at the moment but how quickly he gets through the field I mean I know I know it's a small grid Alex but dear me it doesn't take him long Nah, straight through. I mean, there's more to do with the start on the first corner. You know, he got those few places really quickly. That was the key thing there we for might him to, to get watch. away from uh, LeBaire and um, and Jack, really. We may have to watch the start again, actually, at, uh, at the end of the race and see yeah, how he did Yeah, just jump on board with him, He did yeah. scythe through the middle of two or three cars, and uh, that's really what did it. He, he wouldn't have been... Um, he would have been with Keith and LeBaire, I'm, I'm almost certain, if, uh, if he hadn't have made that move stick. Christian Rose hanging on very well, actually, to the back of this the back of Libert. I wonder if he can do anything with the slipstream to at least keep himself fairly close. Uh, Tom Depker up in fifth, doing a decent job as usual. Roy Viverke is still sick the head of Paul Denton. Adam Bath is down to eighth, but quite a way ahead of Kip Stevens, and then it's Riff Cullinan who went off. And um, in fact, Yannick Hongan are now ahead of Cullinan and now ahead of Stevens, so. Very easily done for the Belgian. I'm gonna up into ninth position. Well, we were hoping to get Baxter in for this race. He's not managed to um, turn not, up. Not yet. Might get him for races three and four. That'd be good. Yes, our Formula Renault here at Virginia. Not many weeks to go, really. Now, in this, um, what have we got about eight weeks left. Yeah, it really isn't long, so yeah, the showdown's going to be um, happening very, very soon, so yeah, the um, admins will have to um, yeah, pull their finger out and work out who that's going to be. Nearly everybody is going to be in it. Well, uh, basically, I think, we have a look at, we didn't bring up the tables, actually. Uh, apart from me and Adam, I don't think we're going to be in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Although you never know at this rate, mate, if we keep going, keep going. I just popped to the blimp right now and you can see the top 10. Um, ba Baker's still in there at the moment, but I think after this race meeting he won't be. Depka should be able to get himself there. Josh Thompson back from holiday will also get himself in, but who else are we missing? No, that's it really. We Kip's even Thompson. in there. So I tell you, it's going to be quite close um, between the likes of um, Thompson, Depka, 
see whether or not they're going to... They are still fighting to get into that top 10. But of course, what we have got is... Um, you know, they've got there in their respective championship. It would be the AM as well. It's just they won't be in the overall championship. So. Paul Denton's been doing exceptionally well this season as well in the AM category. And he's just... Now right with um, Depka again. Has Depka had a problem, Alex? Uh, I didn't see anything. But you're right. He's um, Yeah, he's right on him. 47-2 for Depka. Oh, runs in very nothing deep. especially unusual, but... Yeah, he's um, suffering a little bit out there, Depka. Got dirt on his tyres then as well, which didn't help. He'll just stay in front of Denton, who's um, he's pushing hard to try and get by. It's a terrific circuit, Alex. Should we... Um, we have a lap with the leader. He comes round. Oh, well, he's not. Oh, he's not round yet. <laughs> Back straight. Once he comes down that roller coaster section, we'll jump on board with him. You can take us through it. You've driven here many times. Hmm. You like it? I do like it actually. Um, it is a tough track, and it does punish you for making little mistakes. And I think that's the that's the problem with with it, and why so many people hate it. <laughs> not an F1 track, is it? Actually, the flow is is really really nice. Right here we go then. Coming out of this final corner, um, critical to obviously get on the power as early as you can through there because you've got such a long straightaway section. One thing you can't um, say about VIR is that um, you know it's a slow circuit. Really good, get some high speeds. Turn one, use the braking markers on the left hand side, and it's kind of see Mark didn't take a bit of a wide line there and. Um, <coughs> couple of lines you can take through there, you can come in sort of tight and or you can go wide and exit a little bit closer, try and get on the power a bit earlier. Tricky little left hand kink there as um got no braking markers for that one and then this tight section here, curves are really really tricky there. The car needs to be very good and compliant over them to really attack them. Martin having no issues whatsoever. So, um yeah he's got that car dialed in nicely and through the snake section of the circuit as well, just um, absolutely flat out through here. One line, very very difficult to try and get a run. You you can get alongside, but it's pretty deadly when you uh, when you do. Kink to the left and now into the famous oak tree corner again, breaking and turning. This is why it's so tricky. If you get a little lock up on the inside, you're almost destined to end up in the tire wall, as uh, we saw Adam do in the previous race. He made that um, S section. So easy, didn't it? It's like it wasn't even like it wasn't even trying. It probably wasn't. Yeah, well, it is. I mean, I have to say, it's pretty easy. You know, the car is quite compliant through there, flat out. Got plenty of downforce there, and then we into the back straight, it's blind corner. You can't really see. Obviously, we can see on the uh, T cam position, but uh, yeah, from the cockpit, you're so low you can't see there. So you sort of have to turn in in good faith. Uses in the curb on the right, and actually just clips the inside curb there. You tend to avoid that through the roller coaster and out that final corner as it tends to push you wide but um, yeah good laps from uh, Martin it's always fun to see on board shots especially with the um, the leaders of the race excuse me just to see just how they do it and um, Van Lusnod is one of the best in the world as are Jack Keithley and Samuel Bear and um, yeah they got delayed a little bit coming through the field but Keithley he'll be happy he's getting the second place at the moment ahead of Bear. And Christian Rose is still in fourth, Alex, but he is getting closed in a little bit by this battle between Depka and Denton, who will be side by side, and Denton actually going through. Yeah, good move from um, Denton. I think he's got the pace to catch Rose as well. A couple of laps to go. So, let's see. The Adam Bath in the background as well, getting um, reasonably close to Roy Viverke. Two seconds is the, uh, is the gap, so... Uh, yeah, we'll see if anything goes on there in the final uh, two, in the final two laps. What do you think, Adam? You reckon you can get close? No, not really. There we go. Confidence for there you, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I try my best. Okay, that's better. There we go. That's that's the tenth gain. And that's <laughs> my pur that's a purple actually. <laughs> <laughs> do go. or do not. There is no, no try. try. I've got to get down to two seconds now, ever since you've said it. Apex Racing TV we are on, racing we are. Mm. 
<laughs> One and a half laps to go here then. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good job we don't take this series that seriously anymore, isn't it? SF and losing on. Plows on with the four second lead. Jack Keithley in second. And uh, Samuel LeBert in third. I'll tell you what, come the showdown, I reckon things are going to get pretty serious. Once again. Yeah, I think so, because. Got prizes um, up for grabs. Yeah, there's still, there's still a lot of cash prizes up for grabs, isn't there? So. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, they've worked hard for a long time. We've raced in the series a bit this season, you know, as a um, a bit of fun, really. But we've appreciated the racing that we've had has been has been very very good on the whole. Um, this battle's getting nice, isn't it? On the last lap, Christian Rose, Paul Dent, and Tom Depka. Depka could yet finish fourth and kicks off here. Through sector one, it's pretty tricky. Sector one, really, and then this fast S is section. That They're sector not. one is where you tend to lose most of the time as well. It, it, it's frustrating when you do because technically the corners are actually quite simple, but um, yeah, <laughs> you can lose a good half a second there. <laughs> it's mightily annoying. That's crazy, isn't it? Mine's going to be finishing up very you, soon as you well. You do think how how can I lose that much time? As um, Rose goes into the oak tree section, he's still ahead. Denton. Denton gets a good run out, but we're going to have to see the leader coming across the line. He's only got the final sector to go, Martin Van Lewis, not. I've only just... Oh, hello. Once, um, once you've called the winner, I'll tell you what's going on with me. They say they can't, you say you can't win the race in the first corner. Martin Van Lewis, not, went a long way towards it. A brilliant move at the start. He's followed that through nicely. And he takes the win here at VAR. The second race of the evening goes... To Martin Van Lusenord. Jack Keithley in second. Samuel oh. Lebert in third. Oh no. And, and Denton is through. Denton is through into fourth. Gonna come across the line. Rose fifth and Depka sixth. And what has happened to Adam Bath? <laughs> Can't press the right button. Uh, Yannick Ongano arrived out of nowhere. I wasn't even checking him on the relative throughout the race. And he arrived on the exit of the oak tree bend. Look there, what happened? Oh dear! Right. Oh, and you had a good battle. Did you hit each other? What was what was up with your car down the straight? I was going flat out. I was giving her all she's got. Going like hell. I don't know. He was going quickly, wasn't he? And then we collided at the beginning of the oak tree section. But that was. He was <laughs> going very very fast. Was on gonna. He was really chasing people down. Doing, uh, well, he was doing 45s side by side into the final sector, and yeah, oh, oh, yeah, collision bang. Ah, both of you survived, that's fine. Wrecked and, him, um, yeah. Alex, I wonder if we can go on board at the start and if you can give us the um. Commentary on Van Lusenod's start from his perspective. Here we go then. Just waiting for the final few people to grid up. We go good initial start. You've got Jack, uh, one of the um, Baker cars straight away. And then he's right in the middle, and you think, "Oh, this just looks dangerous." But straight through there, picks up those two places. That is absolutely perfect. And then, um, yeah, we've got Depka on the um, outside of him. Tom, just giving a little bit of room. It's because he was more battling with um, Rafe, so thank you very much. And yeah, that's it. That's that's all the positions that he gains. So uh, we'll stay on for the rest of the first lap, actually, because I have to get out of it so much there to uh, avoid uh, Rafe as well. See where he gets Rafe. I'm pretty sure he's in a knockabout. Was it fourth place by the end of the lap? I think it was, yeah. I think he was still behind Roy, I think. 
So he gets okay. Rafe into the oak tree, doesn't he? Just being patient here. Yeah, and that's oh uh, yeah, Rafe just makes a mistake. Really, runs a little bit wide. So thank you very much. And he was a little bit far back from the exit there because of compromised line going in. So no draft for him on um, on Roy. So yeah, fourth place. I have to say, we <laughs> had the draft on Roy. Who knows where he could have been at the end of that first lap? Have a look at how much he gains through the final sector. Then how close he gets to Viverke by the end of the sector. In fact, he's, he's on him halfway through the final sector and he was a second behind. How quick he is, he, I think he thought about a move to the second to last corner. Fires it out of the last corner. So much straight line speed, so much traction and commitment. Bring straight to the inside as well. And yeah, P3 oh, yeah, by the end of lap Pretty impressive. One. Yeah. On ninth on the grid. I think the move in turn one didn't look quite as impressive as what I thought it was, but but what it did show me was that it was just it was really controlled, wasn't it? He didn't go lunging in, he didn't dive, he didn't lock lock the wheels or anything like that. He just drove the car and it, it paid him back. Yeah, exactly. And um, you know, you still got to have a bit of confidence to put that in between a couple of drivers who, you oh, know, yeah. with the reverse grids, that's not quiet. Um, equal kind of like talent level so you're a little bit unsure whether or not someone could run a little bit wide in the first corner or squeeze you in a little bit like there so but yeah fully confident that the guys were going to um, sort of leave a little bit of room when it was three wide yeah and um, that race was extremely entertaining in the midfield at least and um, two more to come tonight on Apex Racing TV so stick with us as the MSA Formula Renault series continues here at Virginia
Simulated racing can be awesome, but can also be kind of a free-for-all. Interestingly, auto racing faced the same problem in its earlier days. Whether it was on the back roads, the beaches, or the city streets, the racing was fun. But there was always a certain level of chaos and danger, until some folks came along and put some order to all of this. Stuff like official racetracks, regulations about weight and equipment, and enforcement of standards. That's what gave us high-speed excitement, fast-paced action, and photo finishes. That's when racing became racing. The guys over at iRacing.com have made the same transformation in the world of sim racing. Sure, they've got the most accurate tracks and realistic cars out there, but that's just the start. See, iRacing analyzes the performance and results of each driver in every race. So you can be sure you're always placed in races where the competition will be tight. And that those reckless drivers who ruin it for us all are kept in the pits. Not to mention that with over 45,000 active members already in their vast community, you can find races day and night. So you can always get in on the action. You can even join a league of your favorite series. And since updates are always automatic, you don't have to worry about software and can focus on the track. Zip up your fire suit and check out iRacing.com. iRacing.com is a sim racing game that combines a true-to-life racing experience with an online community of virtual racers from all over the globe. iRacing offers a multitude of officially licensed cars and tracks, laser scanned with millimeter accuracy. Their car models and mechanical systems are based on real-world physics and engineered in cooperation with manufacturers and race teams iRacing's web-based interface allows members to compare stats and test drive any combination of car and track instantly. Their skill license system ranges from rookie to pro, ensuring members are always pitted against those with similar skill sets. Members are able to sign up for a weekly race series, compete in time trials, host a private race with friends, and participate in racing leagues created and run by the community. With over 60,000 members, iRacing works in partnership with renowned motorsport organizations like SRO Motorsports Group to deliver virtual races based on the real-life Blancpain GT series. iRacing's Blancpain Endurance Series features team racing, giving members the ability to build a team and participate in races ranging from 3 hours to 24 hours. Additional partners include NASCAR, IMSA, V8 Supercars, IndyCar, allowing members to race in their very own 24 hours of Spa, Bathurst 1000, Daytona 500, and many more. iRacing.com, delivering the most authentic racing experience short of getting into a real race car.
Burns on the grid here at VIR for the MSA Formula Renault Championship. And um, Rafe Cullinan on pole, Adam Bath in second, Yannick Ongen in third, Roy Verke fourth, Tom Depke fifth, Christian Rose in sixth, Paul Dents in seventh, eighth for Samuel Libert, ninth for Jack Keithley, tenth for Martin Van Luzenon, eleventh Kip Stevens. And joining us for the first time tonight in twelfth is Stephen Baxter. Hey, you your money put... on Alex with ten seconds to go. Um, go on, Adam, are you going to join him? I was, I was going gonna to say, if you don't want to put it on Martin Van Luzenon, maybe put it on Yannick Ongen. I'm going to say Libert. Right, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go then. What you can hear now. Sound of the Formula Renaults bursting into life here in VIR. Green, green, green. Great, fantastic start by Ongana. Oh, what a, yeah, Adam nailed that comment because Ongana a great start. He didn't get a fantastic second phase, though. That's alongside him. Ongana up the inside. I am coming through, he says. Does he keep it on the circuit? Yes, he does. It's Ongara from Cullinan, from Bath, from Depka, from Liber. And it's Denton, Keith Lee, and uh, I'm losing off. Great start by Yannick Ongara, Alex. This is his best chance to win the race. Yeah, it was for indeed. Quite a long time. Great into the lead. Needs to pull away now as well. Liber in fourth place, though. It's not going to be. Um, not going to be easy. No, he's got the pace after winning the first race. The bath versus Rafe Cullinan could be interesting very soon. Maybe versus Samuel Libera as well. Oh, no, I'm off. Now he's gone. And into the tyre wall. <laughs> exactly like that video. <laughs> oh, Don't worry, tips. Adam, like I said, mate, you're in good company. Tips from the best. Yeah. <laughs> World Championship drivers, they are good for something, it looks like. And the Gongana. The bad in second as well. It's got oh. that draft straight through. And then not really fighting it at all. That might be game over already for Hungana. Martin's not too far behind, though. Ethy there as well. Oh! Martin just oh. about saves that as well. <laughs> big, big moment. And Noah oh, had just been shot. <laughs> I don't know if Rose just hit Denton. Close. Nine lap races here in the BSR Formula Renault. Epker and Cullinan, wheel to wheel, side by side here. They've already had a little battle, haven't they, today? Oh, no Cullinan keeps well. it, but he hits the curb hard, and here comes Keith Lee, Alex. On the inside. Through. And Depka loses out again. He loses out to Van Luzenord, I think. Yeah, almost let Martin go straight away. Didn't want to have any part of it. Just needs to stay with these guys. Just through this section and use them to uh, almost close back up to um, the back of Cullen. And... Yeah. I should apologise to our, to our one viewer that, um, that I can drive better than this. We've, it's like Top Gear, isn't it? We've been literally inundated with a letter. Um, <laughs> that's ten. That's ten. Ten viewers. Oh dear. Goodness me. Yeah, we've not put it on iRacing Live. In fairness, as well. So. Oh well, that's a relief. Then all the jokes we've made. That's fine. I think we need to fade away and classify ourselves as obsolete. Obsolete. Is that Martin and Jack going side by side. Oh, and, and Van luzno has got a big hefty slipstream. Helps him through. Yeah, he picked it up off of Rafe as well, didn't he? So Keith will, Keith will be gutted because that's the only way he could probably win this race is by staying ahead of Martin Van Luzenor. But oh, Van Luzenor's almost pushing Cullen in through the corner. Get yeah, out big time in that section. Same move that we saw him make at the uh, end of the first lap. And ah, but here comes Jack. Jack's got a good run. I have nowhere to go though. That's the only trouble. Martin covers that inside. Nowhere to go, he says. Yeah, Jack sensible <laughs> enough not to try and risk putting it out the, um, through the middle there. Oh, Martin, very, very ruthless there. Really going through, chopping off Cullinan. Keithley getting through nicely. Following behind him. Has to stay with him. Ongana and Liber then. 
for the lead. The bear has taken it. And Yannick Ongana stay with him. Can he do anything about the flying Frenchman? Uh, Adam, what damage? I'm just waiting for a mate. Uh. I, know, I, thought, I thought that's what you were quoting. Um, <laughs> no! Okay. Oh, no, that's collision, what collision? Um, <laughs> Any damage? I don't think so. Does it look like it? Uh, oh, the front wing's bent in a little bit on one side, but I think you're okay. I've just realised that Kip Stevens is closing me down, so I better go move on. Do it. I'm going to back past Le Bear. He's not giving this one up at all. And then Le Bear fighting back round the outside. Well, then has the inside. Slips a little bit wide. I'm going to try to... Can't um, hold it round the outside, though. Yeah, not easy round there just to carry it through there. Would have been very, very tight through this section. So probably best to It'll concede be... and then get the toe here. Oh, oh runs off. wide. Lost all that slipstream. Eight tenths of a second behind. So any chance he had just un undone with that one little mistake. I think he'll have got dirt on his tyres, you know, from running wide in that middle part of this middle sector, uh, the final sector, because back to um, someone who just didn't have a lot of grip. And he's going to, he's gifted the, uh, what will probably be the win, Samuel Le Bear on him. Now, my spouse dying to a fold here. I'm losing on ahead of Keithley. Adam Bath and Kip Stevens. Lapping very closely together. Roy Viverke and Rafe Cullen, and that's going to come together a bit as well. Maybe this battle will as well between Paul Dent and Christian Rose and Tom Depka. Rose looks a lot happier, Alex, than he did at the start of the broadcast. Yeah, lapping a little bit better as well. Just about a second and a half quicker than what he was. So, yeah, he's sort of able to, um, to fight these guys now rather than being hunted down. that from Depka that last one by though he he actually lost ground on board with him as he goes through the uh, oak tree corner nice apex there gets on the power nice and early absolutely nailed that yeah he's given himself the best possible chance of getting some slipstream from the CQR car on the back straight and at least keep him in touch before this final sector the roller coaster section of the course of course hey, well, all that fighting that um, LeBear and Unger had has allowed Martin to get within three seconds of uh, LeBear, so not over and done with yet. Here comes Kip Stevens, but not he really, decides but to he's get... he's got to get half a second a lap. Sorry. Right. Oh, sorry, I was just going to say, Kip was trying to... I thought Kip was going to go for the overtake, but he got out of it. He wants wait. to wait for a good a good uh, opportunity, I think, Stevens. Or maybe it's a straight line speed where the car's really suffering now. The handling isn't too bad. I'm amazed you didn't get more damage than that, I must admit. Uh, it was a fairly light tap of the wall, I think. Our in-race reporter, Adam Bath. <laughs> it's another four tenths out, so gap is coming down. I need to um, dispatch of uh, Yannick pretty quickly if he's um, going to get to him. Having done the driving and talking thing last week, Alex, I know it's not that easy to do. So, <laughs> fair play. Uh, only three and a half seconds covers the top four here, by the way. Yeah, pretty reasonable race, you know, five laps to go, and um, actually the quicker drivers are sort of, moment looking at the timing clock, are at the back, so that gap is just only going to come down a little bit. The Bear not able to, lapping quick, but not able to sort of match what uh, Jack and Martin are doing right now. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, however, I think the Bear's got enough of a uh, lead now. You would like to think, anyway. Two and a half seconds with five laps to go. You'd think that's enough, but... Oh, my goodness me. Oh, there goes Adam. I can hear grass. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, has he saved it? He has. Just about. Hey, mate, I, I, I wondered if we were going to get you embedded into the tree. Well, but have you ever seen anybody actually hit the tree, Alex? No, no one ever hit the tree that I've seen. Hit the tree itself. I know it's behind the barrier, but... I didn't think it'd be impossible to do that. Martin loses a little bit of time there. Can't quite get the move straight away on. Yannick has to wait through the final sector and doesn't really nail it very well. So he's going to be struggled to get the slipstream straight by into turn one. Maybe a late move on the brakes. Oh, throws it out. Yannick good on the brakes as well though. Runs a little bit wide so they're still battling. 
think Martin's going to try the outside here, but surely it's not going to work. Ah, uh, just uh, always going to go towards the car on the inside. It's almost impossible to, to get that one done. Needed to get through through turn one. He was just a little bit ambitious, I think, trying to get it at the end of the back straight there. He was too far back. And um, yeah, he compromised his line massively, and that's really what's stopped him from getting him through turn one. And again, he's going to have here. to... Going to have to be patient here. You just you just can't get through here. No, no chance. No chance at all. You have to wait for the oak tree bend. Even then, that's pretty tough. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'd, I'd say I don't like going for moves here as well. It's just too easy to get wrong. Lock up. Please. You take both cars out, and you end up pushing your um, rival out into the wall. It's not very nice. Made the sensible decision. Wait for this long straight. Step go around as One well. I the... think. I think it's one of the longest straights we go to on the calendar, Alex. It's I think it is. It's pretty, pretty massive. Big. Pretty long. It's probably nearing a kilometre. I think it's 1.5. It really? Wow. That's with the slightly slower speed of the Formula Renault. Well, earlier on, we car. were. It was 14, about 14 seconds or so to. Um, Martin was ahead, and those guys were just coming out of Oak Tree, and he was still on the straight. So, you know, it just goes to show you, you're on that power. For a fair old a long time. Here. Right, so he's, Martin makes it through then, just uses that slipstream, so up and into second place, 2.68 uh, seconds behind. Um, that lap didn't actually lose any time while behind, but didn't close, I think, more importantly. So LeBaire, I feel, should be safe as long as he can just carry on lapping those mid 144s. Yeah, I he think he's. Oh, he's, he's off. It's okay, but um, he must have listened to you. That's probably yeah, that's probably two or three tenths lost there. Yeah, I don't think it'll be enough to put him under pressure, but down to two point three seconds it is. Never know. Oh, 44, 44 oh. sevens a piece there. As uh, has Kip hit you, has he? No, uh, he set me up for your turn one. Nice move oh. there by Stevens. Now the annoying thing is I've got to get by Kip before we get to the oak tree bend because he has got the cleaner car. That's the battle for the wooden spoon. Um, uh, you're Steven. okay, Baxter's still out there. Oh, is he still got Well, he's two he's laps a, down. He's a few laps behind, yes. Not going to get classified as um, Baxter, but I suppose, he, I suppose that counts. Keithley then on um, Ongana. Two tenths of a second back. It's not going to, again, not going to do anything. Maybe his teammate will let him oh. go straight through. He does oh. indeed. Pull straight out of the way. Oh, my God. Goodness. That serves me right for getting excited, doesn't it? The teammates, aren't they, of course? That's it. <laughs> oh, he's gone for it. Uh. Oh, here he comes. Have a look at what this lap is going to be then. So, oh, Bath versus oh. Stevens, Alex. Side. He's got the straight line speed, though. Libert 45.3, Van Lusenor 44.4. Nine be tenths of a second there. Might be happening. Bath versus Stevens. Bath is through. Doing into the top 10. Went back on board with Martin. Little wiggle there. See this gap coming down. The Bear's probably going to step on it a little bit for these final two laps. He knows now. Can't just sit there banging mid 45s in. That's not going to do him any good whatsoever. He did have that little off, didn't he, Andrew, in that last lap? Yeah, and it didn't cost him a lot, but it's things like that that just, you know, he'll get dirt on his tyres, he won't be quite as quick through the next corner. It means he'll be slower on the next straight. It all adds up. Evans and Bath, I don't think that's going to be over. Uh, two to go. Depka Viverke Cullinan is reasonably close to 2.0 2. 2. seconds. That gap. The bear. He's weathering it slightly, Alex, I think. Yeah, I think he's going to be okay. Martin it's needs to get within six tenths just to even pick up the draft. So 1.6 seconds, I think, now. So it's only actually closed in a tenth this lap. So it's a good good response lap from um, the bear. I think the bear always seems quicker um, when he's around other drivers. He, he, I don't know if he... And I could be speaking completely out of turn, but... I, he seems like one of these drivers who prefers 
being in and around the traffic as some kind of a reference. That was an excellent lap. 144.5. Even Baxter's and out of the race. 3 for Van Lusenord as we've lost Stephen Baxter. He wasn't going to be classified anyway. And I think he... Oh, we've uh, it's a, a disconnect. So not only are you last, when you get disconnected when you're last, that's even uh, more annoying, is it really? Almost. Or is it a blessing in disguise? Who knows? Last lap. One point three seconds to gap then, so it's gonna come down. It might be under a second by the end of this one, but uh oh, yeah, he's certainly not gonna get there. Um Depka and Colin they're <laughs> separated by three tenths of a second. So Bath versus Stevens once again. Again, Alex. Into turn one. Bath maintains it. Stevens trying to fight back. Oh, oh, really going to go to the checkered flag, I think. Bath struggling with his tyres by the sound of it, Adam, is it? Is that what it is, Tyson? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the aero damage, it's not helping. Understeer then. Look at that brake bias to the rear. <laughs> All the way! <laughs> <laughs> Alex is just putting his hand on his face, no doubt. <laughs> At this point. Uh, Samuel the Bear, though. He'll be putting his hands in the air any second now because we're through the final sector. Looks like he's going to be victorious here at VIR. Only got two corners to go. Oh! God. Samuel Liber then for Apex Racing UK is going to come across. He's going to win here at EIR. Going to jump back to Depka and Cullen and look at those guys. Rafe on the inside. Oh. That will turn out to be the outside as um, Depka Go sweeps around. around. Yeah, that's good. Oh no, here comes Kib. Nice committed <laughs> move. Bath versus Stevens again. Oh, just knock him off, Adam. Just knock him off. <laughs> it's got no straight line. Oh, oh, oh! My goodness! <laughs> Tell you what, have a bit of that. What a move that is! Hold on to it to the line now. He's got the straight line speed oh, advantage. Oh no! And a right mess of the final corner. It's going to be close. Oh, he's gone and kiboshed himself. No! Here comes Stevens. <laughs> oh, 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 it's like handy from a baby. Even that oh, cheeky little side swipe's no good. Stevens. <laughs> we're in 10th place. There you go. That's the most exciting we've got all night. That looked like a lot of fun, actually, there, mate. Uh, it's like racing it. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Not fun to finish 11th, I suppose, but it's fun uh, because you'll be on pole position again. Yes. I don't think it's going to do himself any good unless... So, Kip, can I take everyone out in the first corner? Well he, yeah, well, he could do what Alex did in that MX-5 race when um, you crashed into everybody and I won. Maybe. You know, we might, we might get that. Um, Rafe Cullen and uh, Roy Viverke, that was a very, very close finish as well. Let's take you through the finishing order then. Samuel LeBaire by 1.1 seconds over Martin Van Lusen. Jack Keatley in third, Paul Denton fourth. Fifth for Yannick Ongen. He's, he's um, developing into a very, very solid driver in this championship. Christian Rose in sixth. Pick up David Baker's old spot. I think that's two sixth places in a row. Tom Depke in seventh. Rafe Cullen in eighth. Roy Viverke in ninth. Keep Stevens tenth. Adam Bath eleventh. We saw that at the line. Stephen Baxter with the disconnect. Uh, five laps down. Okay, then. We've got one more race to go then from the uh, Racing MSA British Sim Races Formula Renault Championship. And you'll be able to see that in just a few minutes' time when we return from VIR.
Simulated racing can be awesome, but can also be kind of a free-for-all. Interestingly, auto racing faced the same problem in its earlier days. Whether it was on the back roads, the beaches, or the city streets, the racing was fun. But there was always a certain level of chaos and danger, until some folks came along and put some order to all of this. Stuff like official racetracks, regulations about weight and equipment, and enforcement of standards. That's what gave us high-speed excitement, fast-paced action, and photo finishes. That's when racing became racing. The guys over at iRacing.com have made the same transformation in the world of sim racing. Sure, they've got the most accurate tracks and realistic cars out there, but that's just the start. See, iRacing analyzes the performance and results of each driver in every race. So you can be sure you're always placed in races where the competition will be tight, and that those reckless drivers who ruin it for us all are kept in the pits. Not to mention that with over 45,000 active members already in their vast community, you can find races day and night, so you can always get in on the action. You can even join a league of your favorite series. And since updates are always automatic, you don't have to worry about software and can focus on the track. Zip up your fire suit and check out iRacing.com. iRacing.com is a sim racing game that combines a true-to-life racing experience with an online community of virtual racers from all over the globe. iRacing offers a multitude of officially licensed cars and tracks, laser scanned with millimeter accuracy. Their car models and mechanical systems are based on real-world physics and engineered in cooperation with manufacturers and race teams iRacing's web-based interface allows members to compare stats and test drive any combination of car and track instantly. Their skill license system ranges from rookie to pro, ensuring members are always pitted against those with similar skill sets. Members are able to sign up for a weekly race series, compete in time trials, host a private race with friends, and participate in racing leagues created and run by the community. With over 60,000 members, iRacing works in partnership with renowned motorsport organizations like SRO Motorsports Group to deliver virtual races based on the real-life Blancpain GT Series. iRacing's Blancpain Endurance Series features team racing, giving members the ability to build a team and participate in races ranging from 3 hours to 24 hours. Additional partners include NASCAR, IMSA, V8 Supercars, IndyCar, allowing members to race in their very own 24 hours of Spa, Bathurst 1000, Daytona 500, and many more. iRacing.com, delivering the most authentic racing experience short of getting into a real race car.
Welcome back to Apex Racing TV for the uh, iRacing MSA British Sim Racers Formula Renault Championship here at Virginia. Andrew Woodhouse with Alex Simpson. Adam Bath in the car and uh, Alex, well, final race of the evening. I can't help but think it would do some carnage. Yeah. Might be right. <laughs> oh, uh, race God. 4, usually the elbows oh, come out, don't dear. they? Oh so... dear, I was going to say it might help our colleague Adam Bath, but he seems to be having all sorts of problems in practice, mate. Cold. Well, we know how tricky these cars are with cold weather, so, yeah. Get that brake bias forward. It's on, it's the, getting the power down, that's the issue, I think, at the moment. Yeah, uh, it's the power, it's such a killer. Okay, I haven't got any suggestions for that. <laughs> you're not doing on-off, on-off throttle like you're doing F1 2016, are you? That's me. <laughs> no, oh dear. How is it so, why is it so slippery out there? It's not particularly cold. Older to what it, than what it was earlier on, uh, Alex. But do you know, is this car very sensitive to temperature? Very, yeah, very. It's much like the Kia in the same sense. Oh really. my goodness me! How is that? How did that even oh. happen? I, I don't see how. Wow. Well then, it's not even giving you a chance, really, is it, to to warm up the tyres? Well, hopefully anything. this is the same for everyone else. So, but otherwise, um, yeah, I think we could be on for um quite a few annoyed drivers by the Take end of it. the thing. Just take it very easy, mate. I think like first lap and do your best. I think if you survive the first lap, I think it's like that last race that I was in last week. I think if you survive it, you've got a good chance of getting into the top five because I think everybody else is going to have some issues. So, um, Adam Bath on pole, Roy Viverke second, Riff Cullen in fourth, Tom Depka fifth, Yannick Ongana in sixth, Paul Denton in seventh, Jack Keithley eighth, Martin Van Lusen on ninth, tenth, Kip Steven, uh, tenth Samuel Lebert, sorry, Kip Stevens eleventh, and Stephen Baxter twelfth. What do you reckon, Alex? Who's um, who's in the main? Who's in the box seats? We can't ever rule out Lebert or um, Martin at the moment. They're very quick here, but um, I yeah, like you say, win one. Little accident between the two of them, and it's going to open it up for anyone. Here we go. They're ready to go. Slightly early. Green, green, green. Green flag flies. Bottas like reflexes from Bath as he gets away. Okay. It's going to come under pressure from Cullinan. And this is where it gets tricky into the first corner. And it's coming out of the corners, Alex, that we're going to see some issues surely here on the opening lap of the race. Everyone through safely, which is good to see. Not good to see for Adam Bath. He wants them to go. Rose goes a little bit wide. Everybody being very sensible, Alex. Excellent. So far, at least. Yeah, you just got to be patient these early laps when the track temperature is just a bit colder. Oh, they're calling and it wasn't. Oh, half a lap and um, you, you're normally okay, but yeah, Rafe suffering there, coming out into the wall heavy. That's his race done and dusted. Ongener and Libert were very, very close together. Libert goes through. And there's none, looks like he's already up into sixth place. Yeah, Martin on. flying LeBaire right behind him as well. Second place for uh, Rose off. Oh, Rose well. off, yep. Heathley goes. I thought he'd gone deep into the oak tree. But he's um, been pretty smart out of there. It's Jack Heathley side by side with Roy Viverke. I wonder if Viverke is going to fight this one. Can't afford to go too slow. They're behind him side by side as well. And losing on. Coming in at a rate of knots. Holland versus Belgium. Heathley's through, by the way. Oh! Wow. Big difference there, Alex. That's frightening. Van Luzenod. Absolutely frightening. Over to third. And Roy moving out over the way as well from um, Depka. Depka's got a good run. Lebert tucked up behind him. Oh, where's Lebert going to go? He goes to the inside. Going to get both Depka. here. Uh, Depka lets him go. Now he'll be able to follow his teammate in. He goes a bit deep. He hits Viverke. Ongana oh, piles push. in. And that's Baxter as well. Not Baxter's oh. evening. Missed a couple of races. Turned up late for the third. And then, uh, yeah, new nose cone for the uh, for the fourth. Viverke's attempt at a spin turn was... Uh, Ongana massive, of, massive damage as well. Second worst of the season so far. Adam Bath leads by two seconds then. 
Take that 1.4. <laughs> Easily what? reeling them in. To me. But your three drivers, you didn't want hunting you down. Hopefully they'll come together, uh, Adam, and start fighting each other like crazy. <laughs> uh, hold on out there for a few more laps if you can. Hopefully they'll take each other out. That's it. Uh, we are run by a of course, on Apex Racing TV. Apex Racing TV. Said last week. Who's That's in one the second now. Yeah, stop looking at the gap. It's hard not to, though, Alex, isn't it, when you're in front? Oh, it is, yeah. There's a good spread between all three. They're all about as even uh, part, so... If they'll be buying to turn one. Would you imagine? Perhaps, perhaps a bit harsh. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> very quick in the last sector, though. Very, very fast in the last sector, look. No, he's not going to get there. You're all right, Adam. I oh. had the faith. <laughs> Not quite, but no. The, 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 no, the speed that he was showing in in the Get previous. Get you by turn two instead. <laughs> yeah, there's hardly any space between turn one and two. <laughs> Dear me. Gonna crash in a minute. Hang on. <laughs> well done, oh dear. I thought he was closer than he was. Uh. Yeah, actually, it's Martin who's closed up to Jack. Now that's this oh, is exactly this what. Is good. Um, what Adam wanted. Well, this could be useful. I thought that was third gear, not fourth. Oh well. Oh no. You've, you, key here. Well. I'm say the key here is to stay in front long enough that Martin starts fighting with Keith. Mate. Don't do it. Don't do it, Jack. Don't do it. Don't do it, mate. Ho ho ho. That was close. It was indeed. It was indeed. Now it's Van Luzenord who's going to be on the prowl. Oh, now. Heathley vulnerable to the attack from Van Luzenord. And Liber is there as well. Here we go then. On the main straight. What is going to happen here? Here comes Keithley. Here comes Van Luzenord. Big grief, he's still there. Send help. Alex, I think is the phrase. <laughs> oh! Still there! Oh! oh. <laughs> off through and off. going to try and hold on to it. The crazy thing is you managed to make that stick of a broken wing. <laughs> I'm fun losing on nearly hits. Um, he nearly hit Keith up the rear then. And the bear's got the run on uh, Martin here. They're going to close into uh, Jack. Oh! <laughs> Where's the guys? What to do? Well, that was a roller coaster and a half right there. Did you go off? Did you? I mean, of oh my you went word, off, what's going on here? With the, are, you, the lead? are you still. I'm is your car undamaged? Looks like it. I haven't. Oh, I can't. oh my god, they're going to they're gonna end up in a heap. Come on, take each other out. Come on. They are going to end up in a heap, I reckon. What do you think, Alex? It's, the odds are pretty short on that, I think. Oh, I would think so, yeah. Libert's made a bit of a mess of Sector 1, though. He's lost the ground. Here comes Van Luzen. Oh, no, don't do it. I'll repeat the phrasing from earlier. Well, he's going to. Side he's by side through there is Bray. Oh, Keithley! Keithley well, to Van Luzen. Yeah. Well. Off go both of them. That's why you don't try and overtake through there, gentlemen. <laughs> it happens every time without fail. Oh, hello, it's Martin Van Luzenord. <laughs> Revenge. The bear was just sat there watching that. It's like, really? You're gonna, you're gonna try it there? <laughs> oh, okay, thanks, lads. I'll appreciate this victory. <laughs> Unfortunately for you, Adam, I don't think he's got any damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hasn't got. I don't, don't think he's got as many incidents left. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this is this is drag racing. <laughs> Pretty close, isn't it? But um, Adam Bath is late on the brakes in today. We've seen that, but I'm losing on. How does he get the car stopped? I've absolutely no idea. But he's off on his way with no damage. Unfortunately, oh. Adam, that crash between the two front runners yielded you absolutely nothing, and that's going to do the same. Next to pass. Oh, look out! Oh. Denton passed. Rose is coming up. I was trying to follow Martin's line for the final <laughs> corner. Oh, dear. And I mean this in the nicest possible way. That is running out of talent compared to those guys, isn't it? I mean, how fast they are is fantastic, really. I'll tell you what, mate. You're still 
in sixth place. Dave Baker will be proud of you. Bring it home. Mullenham versus Viverke, Alex, for, for 11th. Viverke's got a bit of damage, I think, has he on the front? Fair Mullenham's chunk, got some on yeah, the rear. Yeah, fair chunk of wing damage there, so yeah, even Mull itself out. Mullenham's got half DRS. Stick them together and you'd have a good car. <laughs> Which bits? <laughs> <laughs> Could be interesting actually because yeah they're, they're both going to be suffering. Oh, oh you talk Cullinan's about suffering, you can really see that with um, oh, no. Rafe. Rafe followed him off the circuit. It's going to be the battle that we focus on I think for the rest of this race. Yeah, no one is anywhere near each other. Uh, everyone's miles apart. It's a shame that top three we were going to have a great little battle but you know, unfortunately. Tell you what. Shall we talk a little bit about the uh, about the sim racing expo? Should we do that? We're going to be there. Oh, Viverke off into the tyre barrier. That's him done and dusted. <laughs> I think Roy Viverke would probably rather be there as well. At the yeah, minute. of course, the expo coming up in September. Um, I know there's going to be a load of teams there. I think 12, 13 of us are going, something like that. So 16th and 17th of... Uh, September that is. Yeah, so um yeah, head on out. It was a great week uh weekend the last time we were there, so we had an awesome time. Lots of and, lots uh, of um yeah, obviously a lot of racing going on. There's the um there's the GT championship that goes on over there, it's on the stage, which is a lot of fun, a lot of rigs. Try out a lot of sim hardware to have a play with and then of course the uh, Blanc Pan event as well. And um yeah, some drinking too. Well, <laughs> that's it. Beware the fins and the mysterious coloured spirits. I think we're going to partake a little bit more in the drinking this year, I feel. Yeah, we, we barely did any drinking last year, did we? But, uh, gr the group of us that's there, so... There's, yeah. 12, there's 12 of us going. And please, you know, we're going to be we're going to have team colours on, team uh, uh, branding and things like that. So please come and say hello if you see Apex Racing UK um, clothing out there. That's us, so give us a shout. We'd, we'd be happy to see you. Just let us, know, let us know who you are, whether we know you or you're not. We'd be, or we don't, we'd be happy to... Um, Happy to say hello. On in our latest and newest um, sponsor as well, or will be revealed at the event. Oh, <laughs> yes, announcement time. Hashtag announce new sponsor. We need to do a video for that. We need to do an <laughs> announcement video, yeah, with like like the Southampton one. Did you see that one? I didn't see the, it, no. The, the South, I'll show you after. The Southampton one. That That's Martin on Keith Lee. They announced <laughs> a, new, a new player. I will, um, I, I will keep that quiet, but it was very, very epic, shall we say. Remember, don't drink and drive unless you're on eye racing. Yes, well, of course, of course. Although it's just, I'll tell you what is a shame, and we didn't, and we we probably won't end up with any chances. Keithley versus Van Lusenord then down the main straight. Lusenord is going to beat him to the timing line, but is he going to beat him through turn one, or is Keithley going to try the outside? I think it's very difficult to. I think Jack's got damage as well. He's been lapping two seconds a lap slower oh, off the incident. Bent, so slightly bent wing, yeah. So he's the one. Van Lusenord initiates the contact pretty much and he's the one who gets away pretty much scot-free from the situation. Isn't that always the way? <laughs> oh yeah. Um Yeah, it's a shame we it's a shame we it's the one time that we go, you know, with our sim racing friends and everything like that and go and see the so many sim racers. And um apart from the ADAC challenge or whatever, there's hardly any opportunity to do any drunken sim racing. No, <laughs> there's none. So you know, unfortunately, um, Adam Bath and the drunken reverse donuts are going to have to be what we um, what we're left with. You'll, yeah, you'll be finding me and Andrew Woodhouse at the bar probably. Yeah, well, yeah I, <laughs> I think generally that's where yeah that's where we'll end up. Alex won't be far behind. To be honest, I've, I've heard about I've heard about what happens in oh Vegas and all God. that. What's happened? Oh, I think you need to go to the bar now. <laughs> Back it up, we're going. Um. Oh, it's Depka. Sorry, Depka. Just go by, mate. <laughs> oh, no, it's going through. Right, I've joined the, uh, the the wounded party here. Oh, Depka, Bath, and who's that other one? Even Steve again. Oh, these are uh, a slipstream. Is there much slipstream or is your car too slow? Oh, here we go. We've got, we got the overspeed, chaps. Oh, we have. It's like Le Mans all over again. <laughs> right, Tom got some wing damage there as well, hasn't he? Was that slipstream? Goes. Oh, Depka thought about it. No, that's not going to work. Hey, mate. Move, though. 
Easily through and into seventh? Sixth. Seventh. Sixth. Where's Rose gone? Oh no, yes, it's set seventh. You're right. I was sick for the start of the lap. I wondered where Christian Rose had gone, to be honest. But yeah, uh, long and short of it, come and say hello to us if you see us. We'll be there, we'll be in the expo, we'll be watching the... There's also the Blanc Pan race going on on the main circuit as well, and the GP layout, so... Um, yeah, definitely worth um, a watch. There's Formula Renault, I believe, there, Alex, as well, there was last yeah, year. Uh, yeah, I think so, some Formula Renault too. Uh, All hopefully, of, um, the, hopefully the fog stays away. Yeah, a little bit warmer than it was last year as well. I think that, that the, the, it was only that day, wasn't it? The, the oh, was geez. it the Monday that we went back? Oh, Adam's <laughs> Adam's away again. <laughs> there was still, there was some decent weather at the other times. It was fairly cold, I think. When we went it? round the actual oh. ring, it was it was lovely. Oh, a little twitch for Martin. Now everyone's struggling a little bit out there now. Yeah, that was a nice day. It was it was a little bit chilly, but it was, yeah. it was okay. Up on like. the um, when we climbed up that castle right to the top, a little yeah, bit chilly out, out there. I, yeah, if we go back up there, it would take me even longer. I'm a bit fatter this year. <laughs> it was last year, unfortunately. Didn't think that could be possible. Uh, two laps to go then. Here on uh, Apex Racing TV. I'm looking forward to it, though. It should be good. We're going for a bit longer this year as well. And an extra we've day got, at the start and at the end as well, just to settle in a bit of fun. We've got two houses this year. <laughs> That should be um, should be good. Last year we ended up at the house with Coander and Redline. Was, um, I, that was a strength of field, I must admit. Oh, I was probably oh. the worst driver in the room. And I mean, I know I'm not great, but I'm usually not the worst one in the room, so... Oh no, I don't... Oh. I is a toast. Probably the rear wingers as well. Stevens off as well. Oh, Stevens is off, okay. He did that on purpose just to give Adam a chance to catch up, I think. He's the Adam's <laughs> in front of him, so it's fine, is it? I know, I'm behind him. Are you behind him now? Oh dear. Last lap. And uh, have shades of are we gonna have shades of a race free finish? I don't know, it depends how fast you go. <laughs> three um three wins here tonight. And you can see why when he wins three races in one meeting. Is it just two races? Uh, this will be third, wasn't it? Did he win the first one? And he won the. Did he win the last one? Oh, he won sorry, the last one. Yeah. yeah so. Sorry. Uh, but when you win three, sorry. this is why he's arguing the case. When the guys are saying, "Oh no, we need to end it soon," and only have four this and four that. Do you know what I mean? He's like, "Well, well, no. You know, I want, you know, I want a showdown because he's committed to doing the series, and um, you know, he's got the potential to to win it once it hits the showdown. Just ending it now, so." Yeah. Well, the drivers are paid for the full season as well. Exactly, and just to confirm that point as well, every race will be done this season. So, sorry, I I did forget about the uh, about the first race that he won by oh. a smidgen. Here he comes, to the line, and takes oh. the checkered flag for the third time. It's a hat trick for Samuel Libert and groans coming from the back of the commentary box, and it's scuppered. Out of scuppered by the oak tree. I saw Tom Depker off, and then look who's in second. Keithley. Where's Martin? We'll have to go back and find who he is. He's in fourth. Denton's going to take the final oh, is he? podium position. Is he? He is. Oh, I think he is. Oh, no, he is. I'm on the replay. It's fine. <laughs> uh, I need to retire. That's quite soon. close. I really need to retire. Near me. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, the final corner up to the line. Oh, I'm, looking at, I'm actually looking at it now. Uh, Stevens versus... And it's going to be Stevens that gets the eighth position. Ninth for um, other way around. Seven for Stevens, eight for Seven. Denton. That's a good. That's worked out really well for Kip in the last few laps, hasn't it? He was last, I think. One bit. I'm going to wind it back and see where we lost Martin. Uh, Keith is saying net code. Between himself and Van Luzenord earlier on. What he means is. Um, what happened? Had a bit of, he's, he's had a bit of oversteer, apparently. Um, oh, well, it was oversteer right into Jack Keithley's <laughs> car for Martin Van Lusenod, anyway. <laughs> what happened? A couple of laps ago, I think, when he lost it, because he's already back. Did they, did they crash again? Did they crash again? Keithley and Martin? Might be something to do on lap 8, because you started lap 8 in second position. Oh dear me! What? I, I saw what made him lose a second place. 
It was a spin on the exit of the final corner. Oh, the final corner. Oh, he went on the grass. And he... And loses it. Yeah, tried to hold it together, didn't he? Keeping the power on, didn't want to lose the momentum, but in the end, that's what's cost him. Oh. He's done, but yeah, LeBert really took pole position today, didn't he, as well, in the opening race. Yeah. Um, He'll say that he wasn't the quickest driver out there, but by far the most consistent. Used his head and, um, yeah, picked up three wins. Great, great meeting for him. Hmm. Can you do us a favour, Alex? Can we can we go back and see the incident on lap four again? Is they going for it on the chat? Oh, are they? Yes. I wonder if you can give us your expert opinion and see what see what you think uh, happened. <laughs> if I can find it. Martin was saying that Keithley would never have made it. Jack saying he can't disappear. What's the uh, Four, yeah, well, what's the thing? This is this is the thing. Martin says he should have given room. I mean, it looked like there was room, but was he alongside him? No, he was alongside, but was Keithley's car still? It was still there. I have oh, to say, I don't this... know. Come. On. There's one Come. line through there. This is the problem. Yeah, and I said the minute they did that it was going to end in disaster and exactly what happened yeah Martin has to swing across there but there's n it's like Jack said there's nowhere for him to go I'm afraid and, um, and you could argue though actually by the time the second corner comes around that arguably he should have backed out of that because he was only he was only front axle to rear axle by that point. well yeah yeah there's... the first part uh, the first part is absolutely fine he's entitled to stay side by side with him might be entitled to, to stay there as well, but I don't know, what what do you think? I mean, there's, I think Martin could have maybe left a tiny bit more room. Well, it's kicking off in the, um, the chat, isn't it, about, about I mean, this um, situation. What well, do you reckon, Alex? If you're, the, if, you're, if you're the driver in front, if you're the driver in front in that situation, do you give a tiny bit more room than possibly is necessary just in case, or do you... You know, do you do the ruthless well, you have to, move you have where you have to, to cut off side, um, I mean, these two drivers know each other well enough to know they give no quarter. Both of them, you know, how many times have yeah. we seen these guys come together in this, uh, you know, this season and with other drivers as well, you know? So you know they're going to squeeze each other and you just can't squeeze through this one. So, you know, Martin risked everything by going for the move there and uh, he should have known that Jack was not going to go for it. Um, much quicker than Jack. Just sit tight and overtake him on the back straight. Where <laughs> it's clean and done and dusted. Back, so back straight I'm not was saying the, the money it's move, wasn't I'm not it, saying tonight? it's mine's fault, but you know he put them in that position initially, and he should have known that Jack was not going to do it. So he needed to leave a little bit more room. Um, it's a racing incident at the end of the day. It's a it was a slam dunk. You're going to crash together. I called it before it happened. It happened. I think uh, I think you're right. I, I think if we um, um, if we hit the showdown, let's hope they learn from the mistake. You know, if we come here on the showdown, which I don't think we will, but uh, think, if we I do, think, let's let's hope they've learned from that. I think Jack was being optimistic from where he was, and I think Martin could have given a little bit more space. What do you reckon, Adam? Is, is that kind of? I think so. I should have done what he did to me on that one. Just if he hung back a bit more, I don't know. He got you easily then when he came round the oak tree. Yeah. After he came round the oak tree, so. And there was a lot of time left in the race, Alex, as well. There were five yeah, exactly. laps. Uh, it wasn't like left. it was the final lap or anything like that, so. Yeah, it was just a bit Both rash. Them. You know? Um, against then, a driver maybe. who, you know, who is arguably only a couple of tenths of a second slower than him, you know, so. Need to, um. Uh, I'm not going to lose massive time or anything like that. So it was it was for the lead. Yep. And uh, those type of things in the showdown are what's gonna gonna um, you know hand the championship to like LeBear, for example. You know, he just held back, saw what was happening, let them go at it, 
And um, yeah, said thank you very much. You know, if they if they race each other like that in the showdown, where there's no inch given whatsoever, and they hit each other, there's only one winner of that showdown. I get a little bit tasty, and we'll oh, be here I to see, uh, and we'll be here to see it. Uh, thanks, mate, for uh, for that. Yeah, thanks to Alex, thanks to Adam as well. Good performance in the car as well, <laughs> and. Um, yeah, I, I think not many rounds left to go this season, but um, we're certainly getting some intrigue at the front. We've got a bit of rivalry going on. We've got Samuel Lebert suddenly coming into some form. We've got some drivers returning as well, which should be, uh, be great to see over the next few weeks. And, um, yeah, we're going to be here, partly on the track, possibly, and partly in the commentary box. So, from all of us here at Apex Racing TV, thank you for watching. I know there weren't many of you tonight, but uh, thank you for sticking with us anyway. Um, we will see you on Thursday night when the British Sim Racers Touring Car Championship continues. And that is from Most Sports. So we'll see you later. And have a good, have a good evening, everybody.